turn out to have Mr. Shirish Garud, consultant and senior fellow at Terry. He has more than three decades of experience in the renewable energy sector. He is a well-known specialist in renewable energy technologies, solar, wind, energy planning, and renewable energy policy studies. Mr. Shirish has been an expert panels on national television channels and important forums. He is also a member of technical committee of the Bureau of Indian Standards. For solar, thermal, and wind, he was instrumental in commercializing solar selective coating technology developed by Nation Aeronautical Laboratories, Bangalore. Today, Mr. Garud will talk about development of RE in a responsible way. Uh, I think uh, Mr. Gaurav has set up the you know the uh, tone for today's discussion and uh, which is basically looking at uh, large scale RE implementation from various uh, prisms or perspectives and uh, one of the perspective is of course what he explained is about uh, fi uh, financing the RE and also uh, you know uh, developing a uh, uh, infrastructure uh, you know developing a good uh, policy and uh, regulatory structure uh, to promote RE. I would also I would like to take it further uh, since RE is still relatively uh, new uh, segment of uh, business and uh, we will uh, we have just uh, you know uh, embarked upon uh, the RE uh, sector in a major way only during the last decades uh, after 2010 national uh, action plan on climate change we set up the uh, solar mission as one of the uh, missions uh, as a, a plan to uh, you know to tackle the climate change issues and uh, from India's perspective, we are looking at uh, renewable energy uh, from the perspective of uh, energy independence and uh, uh, energy security, uh, especially in the con uh, in the context of uh, geopolitical situations which are uh, dynamic and which are changing from day to day. And uh, from this perspective, uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, uh, we have added also the perspective of climate change, uh, uh, you know, uh, mitigation uh, strategy. And so renewable energy is uh, going to be an important aspect uh, uh, for India's uh, target of net zero, which was set by 2070. But meanwhile, many states and also some of the major uh, national and international uh, uh, corporates have uh, set up their own RE targets. Um, uh, you know, uh, some states have 2040 as RE target, 100% uh, RE or net zero uh, targets. And uh, uh, so uh, uh, when we say 500 gigawatt of RE by 2030, I, uh, I don't think it is going to stop there, but it will continue. Uh, because our economy is growing, our population is also growing, and we will keep uh, 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 needing renewable ener energy per se or electricity for that matter uh, to meet our energy requirements. And uh, uh, definitely we'll be uh, drifting away from uh, the fossil fuel based economy. And uh, one of the uh, important aspect of that is a focus on renewable energy based electricity and electrification of many of the uh, current activities, uh, be it transport uh, where electric vehicles are being promoted, be it industries where, uh, you know, uh, electrification of industrial processes or activity uh, requirement is uh, expected and uh, so and and so forth. <clears throat> so uh, as we uh, embark upon a renewable energy uh, plan and as uh, 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 he mentioned in the earlier lecture, uh, that we need a lot of land uh, and that is one of the resources which is limited uh, uh, share uh, by the geographical limitations and uh, so uh, we need to uh, do this development in a very uh, sensitive way uh, and what uh, we have uh, realized and embark upon uh, an initiative which is called as a, a re responsible energy initiative uh, this is led by the Forum for the Future and uh, Terry and WRI 
uh, our uh, key partners along with uh, WWF, uh, CEW and other organizations. So what we are looking at, let, you know, in the past, industrial development is blamed for the, uh, you know, for the mess which we have created, A, due to pollution, B, due to uh, the, you know, uh, emissions, and uh, C, due to uh, its impact on ecology and the environment. Uh, uh, and if, if we are sensitive about it and we have to be cautious about it, we need to uh, look at renewable energy in a slightly different way. It should not be promoted where, uh, you know, renewable energy uh, will have negative impacts, major negative impacts uh, in future as the scale goes up. When scale is small, everything looks beautiful. When scale go, uh, grows, uh, then these impacts become also uh, substantial. And uh, you suddenly you will find one fine day. Uh, the best example is plastic. It is hardly, you know, invented in 1950s, around that time. And then uh, today, not even, uh, uh, you know, 100 years old, uh, but we are finding a huge impact of uh, plastic on our uh, you know, uh, pollution uh, of land, water, and including uh, seas. Uh, so, so from that perspective, we think that a renewable energy development should happen in a very, uh, you know, very controlled way and very uh, environmentally sensitive and ecologically sensitive. And as mentioned earlier by Upadhyay, the, uh, you know, in a just transition way. That means everybody, uh, uh, be it, uh, you know, uh, women or uh, youth, uh, locals or uh, uh, should get an equal chance uh, in the development and the benefits of development uh, are passed on to everybody in an uh, equitable uh, manner. And so we have launched this initiative, which is called as a renewable a responsible energy initiative and which is supported by many uh, you know uh, uh, front running uh, epc companies uh, manufacturing companies uh, financing companies and uh, also some uh, some governments uh, also we are we are uh, they are looking at it in a very uh, you know positive way and uh, we are looking at uh, the uh, 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 you know, the development happening in a just transition and in a uh, ecologically sensitive way. Uh, we have seen the, uh, you know, uh, a few uh, few months back, uh, Supreme Court has the, uh, you know, has given verdict on, uh, you know, uh, cabling for uh, wind and solar power plants in Rajasthan, uh, where uh, the great Indian bus start uh, one of the major uh, birds in India and which is endangered species. So, uh, so they are they are having a problem with uh, uh, with the uh, you know <clears throat> cabling uh, done for uh, solar and wind power plants. So, imp uh, impact like this will likely to increase if we don't take uh, due uh, you know due care for it. And uh, uh, we are now working on uh, some of the guidelines and principles uh, uh, guidebooks for investors for developers uh, for technology um, uh, implementers uh, and we are looking at the entire cycle of uh, renewable uh, energy development that is uh, right from the mining uh, activity uh, to the disposal of the plant which have uh, you know uh, finished their life uh, for example, uh, solar modules or, uh, you know, wind blades or uh, wind turbines, etc. And uh, uh, those guidelines and guidebooks are ri right now under uh, preparation. But I think this is an important aspect. And it also goes hand in hand with ESG principles, environment, social uh, governance principles, uh, which is now uh, attracting a lot of uh, funding agencies. Um, and uh, uh, the, the developers. Uh, so uh, we are looking at um, ESG principles. We are looking also looking at 
the uh, you know circular economy aspect uh, for renewable energy uh, where uh, renewable energy equipments um, you know uh, will use uh, more and more of uh, you know reuse and re- uh, uh, recycle uh, principles uh, in the uh, equipment manufacturing and installations etc so i think uh, this is something which is very uh, important uh, as we go along the renewable energy path and uh, uh, the uh, my appeal to the developers and uh, big players is this in this game is that uh, you know uh, we should have uh, you know adequate uh, uh, you know uh, adequate uh, uh, processes uh, to ensure that the development happens in a environmentally uh, sensitive and benign way and also in a just uh, and uh, equitable uh, benefits to all